Uh, Dravka says, I am from Bulgaria, and every now and then our children go online at school. We use the uh, Microsoft Teams platform, but we have problems with some students in class. You don't say. Uh, there are some <laughs> students who mute others and kick them out of the room. Uh, uh, although the teacher acts like an admin and children are all attendees, they still somehow manage to take out other kids from the room and mute them. My question is, can the teacher see who mutes whom? And who kicks out classmates from the classroom? Is there any log information? That's a great question. Yeah, and curious. I would think that it being attendees, they shouldn't be able to control. But I, I don't have experience in the EDU tenants, um, how there might be different. But in the commercial tenant, I believe you can't do that. Um, so I'm, I'm waiting for the answer, too. <laughs> yeah, that is that is true, Sherry. I don't believe with rights there's an audit log of what you use those rights to do um, but they recently announced the capabilities of taking away some of those permissions from even presenters so um, attendees i put a link christian in one of the um the links to shared information for the microsoft learn information that has what you can do as an attendee what you can do as a presenter and what you can do as an organizer by default. But I believe now you can also change what presenters can do. So theoretically, if students were made presenters because they were presenting something, um, it should either be a presenter or organizer, or core organizer that's muting other students and uh, changing that. The other thing you can do if um, that's a problem is you can actually take away within a meeting now certain rights from all of the attendees. So if you had students not muting others, but interrupting, you could say mute all attendees for the lecture portion of a class and then give them either selectively mics back when they raise their hands or ask to interact, or you can say all attendees now can use their mics. So those would be just a couple suggestions in the EDU version of Teams. And so and one thing I will point out is that a lot of people have asked this question about tracking specifically who's muting who in, in the environment. So, yeah, this is a known issue. I just laugh about it because during the pandemic, I mean, this was a serious problem with competitive pro with Zoom, for example, uh, the same problem. Mm -hmm. um, so I know Microsoft has added that capability. I mean, I do the same thing where I'm on community calls. And there's someone I, you know, the, the presenters presenting away and I've got the people view open and I see that, that somebody has got like their kids came to the room and there's a bunch of noise over there. I'll actually, as another attendee, go and mute them faster than the admins mute them. Just yeah. So let the presenters I have present what experience. they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we're all, yeah. The, I think we're all sensitive to that too, just because, especially when things are being recorded, you want to honor that the integrity of the meeting and people, not everybody remembers you know, they unmuted themselves or came in unmuted and, you know, or your dog barks or yeah. whatever. My husband walks in behind me, one of those, <laughs> not realizing I, we're recording right now. I am a believer in the, by default, having when people enter, you know, no notifications and have them mute, muted and cameras yeah. off and then they manually go in there and do that. Um, uh, one other thing I was going to say just about kind of a, a community management perspective, it's always easier. This is what found from uh, from running uh, hybrid events and the education space is just like that, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, is it's easier when when you're presenting, when the teacher is talking to them, it's hard to do the uh, uh, community management stuff. I mean, it, it's so much easier if. Uh, if there's an, somebody in there helping an assistant, another teacher, somebody in there, and just you you adjust to that. So when one is talking, when one is presenting, the other is watching chat to make sure the cameras are, if they have a policy about having cameras on to make sure kids are present and participating. Um, although it's super easy just to put a video of me sitting there looking and attending as a loop and just have that playing as my background. and go do other stuff, but I'm not saying kids do that. I'm just no. saying that <laughs> it's possible. 
Yeah. And the co-organizer feature was huge when they first announced that because, yeah, just because I'm not there, maybe the meeting can't start. Somebody else can start the meeting that I was really happy when they finally came out with that. So maybe, you know, teachers have a, if they don't have an assistant teacher that they can help them, they have a, a designated person in their class. It's like the room monitor to help with that, you, you know, the teacher's assistant for the day and you know, that might be something they could do. I know, I know AV assistant used to be something when I went to school. So maybe this is yeah. the the uh, 2024 version of an AV assistant. <laughs> I was, no, what it, what I, it, it is. It was the teacher's but, pet back in my day. I was the teacher's the pet. NARC. So. <laughs> the NARC. It, it was the classroom <laughs> NARC. That's right. It was, I think it was fifth grade um, when, uh, you know, there there was... Yeah, there, there were, I think, a couple kids in the class, which were the brown noser, teacher's pet type things, whatever, but, you know, we're close to the teacher. And so if uh, if the teacher had to got called up to the front office, up to the principal's office or something during class, you know, we, we're all like, we knew that these two students in there, if we did something, like, they'd tell on us. So, you know, that that's, you can employ the use of those um, and in and, and modern, modern uh, parlance, it's, it's uh, as the champions that are the, <laughs> the true believers in the room that will help yeah. or, or the brown shirts, I guess. <laughs> or, write, or write you out. <laughs> uh, yeah, good times. <laughs> I was never one of those kids, but I don't want to make people feel bad about being one of those kids, but um I could, because I, now I, I take full advantage of that when I've taught classes, when I've taught kids, uh, you know, definitely have helpers. It all depended on the teacher for me. You know, there were teachers that I would not pipe up, was not a fan of. They probably knew it. I knew it. Yeah. And then there were other teachers that really made a significant, you know, contribution to my future. And uh, those teachers I would do anything for, whether they considered me, you know, teacher's pet or you know, were a fan of mine, I was a fan of theirs. So, you know, I'd say it, it kind of changed, especially in high school, based on the teacher, based on the class and subject. I think there's an opportunity for a blog post if anybody wants to write it, which is managing teams through fear. <laughs> there you go. I, I would read that article. <laughs> Thank you.